Ooh, everything's off. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's do about that or so. There we go. All right. Uh, so a different video kind of video this time instead of just farming an event of any kind. Um, I'm actually going to be giving you the lowdown and basics of Aichu, um, a game by Lieber Entertainment, as you can see at the bottom. Um, now, this is a Aichu. pretty basic um, mobile gacha rhythm game. Um, it's actually my favorite, and it's one of the simplest I've actually played. Um, there's not too much to it, um, rather than uh, having a ton of different kind of like things you need to do when you're playing, um, such as swipes, flicks, um, moving your cursor during the song, anything like that. It's it's very basic. It's four notes, and you have your double taps, you have your holds, um, things like that. Basic stuff for rhythm games, and it's mostly just skill. Um, just how fast you can tap. Um, I actually find that I do much better playing this game than I do playing Bang Dream, Love Live, uh, anything that has more than four notes I end up actually struggling with because I like playing with my thumbs and it, with Love Live and Bang Dream it ends up being better if I play with my pointer fingers because I'm a bit more dexterous than my thumbs. Um, anyway, so here's your main menu. Um, tap up here and, oh, I accidentally hit the shot, sorry. Uh, tap up here at your rank. Um, it'll give you the lowdown. So as you can see, I have six, uh, 88 um, Aichu discs. I've got a bunch of lollipops. That's this right here. Um, lollipops restore your um, LP, your stamina, all the way to full. Candy um, restores 50% of your base LP. So not 50% of wherever you're at, it's 50% of your total. So if you have 100 LP, it'll restore 50. Um, this right here is how many units I have. Uh, my max total is 210. I currently have 171. Um, this right here is for managers. Um, the managers is the new type of unit. Um, I don't have any managers, unfortunately. And then this is for other. Um, these are for your, like, your, um, they're for your Kuma Bears. They basically uh, help boost and level up your skills, your HP on your um, certain units, level them up, things like that. Melody pieces. Um, melody pieces you exchange for either discs, items, candy, uh, things like that. Stuff to just help get you extra um, items. Uh, usually it depends on what the item is that you want, is how many is going to you know, be required for a single disc. It's 10 melody pieces. I usually just save them up for, for discs because I'm good on items. Um, coins. You got to be able to spend coins to be able to do anything with your units, uh, leveling them up, uh, training them, um, idolizing them, things like that. Um, these are friend points. I'm always maxed out on friend points just because I play this game so much, but friend points get you the normal type units, um, your basic ones. Um, they're the, the I kids, the, the idols that are still in training. Um, you get those. You can either use them to, um, if you don't have a lot of kumas, you can use them to level up your units. Um, you can idolize them as well and get affection stories with them as well, which I'll explain a bit more in a, in a minute. Um, uh, but as you can see, the caps, the cap is 99,990, because uh, <laughs> it doesn't doesn't go up to um, 100,000, and I'm always at the max. Um, premium tickets are very rare items that you get either through events, um, through login bonuses, um, things like that. Um, usually, you want to collect five at a time for your for a single pull, and I'll show you that in a minute as well. Crowns, crowns, right here. This one, you use those to exchange for um, previous idols and units that were part of events or things that were limited that you can no longer get easily through normal gacha pull means. Um, you can still get them sometimes if like they have a, a thing for them, but it's usually the ones that are more difficult to obtain. Um, so I had a ton of them. I just actually, I just spent the other day all of my crowns. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff now. And then badges are also used as a special currency for another type of gacha, which I'll show you again in a second. Um, but that's the basic, basic gist of it. Um, up here you have your rank and experience. Um, I've got 36,148 more to my next level 
stuff like that. Um, here, let's see here. What can we start with for the basic? Um, so you have your home menu. This right here is home. This is just going to bring you back here. So you'll see this. This is your announcements right here um, of news and what's going on. Uh, new announcements as well here. Uh, there's a new scout. It's a limited scout. This one, it's for um, today only. Um, things like that. Your daily missions. Um, these ones vary from day to day. Most of them are pretty basic. Um, get a... Uh, Play enough to accumulate uh, 4 million points in scores to get a Akuma. Um, play with a special character in a team. Um, clear an expert with an A rank or higher. Um, get a million score. Uh, get a million um, points in a song that you've ranked B or higher. Um, just, you know, very specific stuff. Um, and usually these will get you kumas if you really need them. I don't tend to do the dailies too much because I, I always have way too many kumas that I don't need. Um, this is your friends list. Right here. I'll tap that again just so you can see that. Right here. Friends list. Um, I have a new friend, apparently. Um, yep. I... <laughs> whoops. Um, if you need friend points, you can send... Um, there you go, I got 20. Uh, you can send um, little greetings to your friends to get friend points if you need to accumulate them. Um, so that's a way to grind friend points if you need them. Um, this is where your sent friend requests show. So I've sent requests to a couple people, haven't gotten a reply. Um, this is where incoming um, friend requests come in. If you have messages from friends that I like post on your page, uh, your message box, um, things like that. So. Um, and then your present box where you'll get all your items. As you can see, it's just nothing but front points for me because I have too many. So, um, and if you end up wanting to be one of those kind of people who buy discs, up here at the top is the little shop icon. Here's the basic shop. This is where you can just get discs. You can hit back and it'll bring you back to the main shop page. Here's the main shop page. Um, so if you need to get... Um, more discs. That's the top button right there. Uh, this is to uh, increase your roster right here. You can see it's the little like card with the plus sign right there. You use discs to increase your roster. I'm not going to use any right now. I've got plenty. 210 is fine for me right now. Um, so as you can see, it's asking you, hey, you have 88 discs. Do you want to use one? And then you can say either no or yes. I'm going to say no. Um, here, right here, um, these are for special events. Um, if you've got a special currency um, from a specific event and you can exchange them for something, you go to this menu right here. Um, and then this one is for your melody pieces. Um, if you can't read katakana, that's fine. You just, all you need to know is this is for your melody pieces. So boom, melody pieces. So you can exchange four melody pieces for a full lollipop, which is a full LP restore. Um, two melody pieces for a candy, which is 50%, and then um, 10 for a disc, which I only ever use them for discs. So there's that. Pretty basic. Um, we'll go back to the main menu. Um, next, you have your story right here. Story. So this is the main story. Um, all the stories event. Event stories that you've completed. Events. Um, stories in general. These are just all of the events. So I haven't done all of the events in the past. Um... These are the ones I have fully completed, so these are... Oh no, what was this one? Oh no, sorry, this is for um, a specific event that has specific dialogues. Um, this is, was from Ava's um, fanservice, fanservice event. They, it has specific scripts and... Scripts? Scripts with a T. Scripts. Um, and dialogues, conversations, things like that that you could only see during the event. So if you want to go back and see them, you go to this one, um, which is at the very bottom. Um, this one is for affection stories. So you can see here, you go in here, and if you have an affection story available, it'll show here. If you have one for a manager, you click manager. Um, luckily, this game actually has a lot of English stuff in it and in places that can help. So like, if you can't read a person's name or something, you have all the English here, so you can see it says Raku Wakaoji, Kokuro Hanabusa, Ise Todoroki, uh, Eva, um, Takamichi Sanzenin, things like that. And then this one, you can see these are the I kids, and then these are all the kids, and you can see all their names as well. Um, so you don't have to try to figure out, you know, who's who by just guessing. Uh, and then here, you've got your main story. Now there's three main parts right now. We're currently on Sublier. Um, 
creation is completely finished, um, you unlock these as you rank up. And after you finish, um, each chapter is three parts. After you, f um, you get for your first part reading, you get coins. Second part, you get um, more coins and I think friend points or something. I don't remember anymore. Um, and then your third one, you get coins and you get a disc, um, which is nice. Um, so that's how you're going to get a lot of your discs at the beginning when you first start your account is you're going to be getting them a lot from ranking up, uh, from affection stories, completing songs, and completing your main story. So as you can see, there's a lot for the first part, the second part, there's 42 parts. Right now, um, they release new parts to the main story at the end of every month. So we just had an update right now, which was the last two chapters, I believe, uh, 29 and 30, or maybe it was 20, 29, 30. I don't, I don't remember. I read it this morning. Um, so we're on part 30 right now. Um, at any rate, um, so that's the story. So this is, that's what you're going to be doing a lot for the beginning. And then once you've completed it, you're just going to be waiting for updates like I do. This is where you're going to access your live songs. Now, you only have a few in the beginning. You have to read the story to unlock more songs as well. Um, you'll get more songs as you rank up. I, Since I'm so high ranked, I already have everything unlocked. Um, I'll come back and I'll explain some more about the live stuff later. This right here is the event button. Event. There's no event going on right now because we just finished an event. Um, it was the King of I King of Aichu 3 event. Um, Kuro was named King of Aichu for the third voting round for the third uh, for the third year. They have a voting round ev uh, every year for who is the best Aichu, Aichu idol, and Kuro won this year. So that was this event. Um, it's done though. We've already completed it. I got all my rewards. I'm so happy. Um, here is where you're gonna view all of your. Um, uh, units and idols. Um, I'll explain all of this in detail right now. Um, so we've got eight tabs and each one is different. So I'll explain them all. Um, this one is just your basic one, your team. This is team, team. So this is your team formation. So you can, um, make up what you, who you want, where, um, I have six teams. Uh, my first three teams are dedicated to each of the kind of um, unit. Now you have uh, three types. You have wild, which is the red, um, pop, which is the yellow, and cool, which is the blue. So I make three groups, one specializing in each one. So the first one is specializes in my wild. The second one specializes in pop, which is the yellow one like I showed you right here. And then three is the cool category. I actually don't have a lot of blue GRs, um, so um, I mine's made up of whoever has the highest stats, and it turns out sometimes that my wild units or pop units have higher um, cool stats than, say, some of my other actual cool units. So don't always worry about what color it is. Usually, just that means it's what's going to be its highest stat. Um, but since I don't have a lot of blue units, I substitute with um, yellow and red. And then for the last three, I use for the ones that I'm grinding affection stories for. Because as you play alive with a unit, you gain affection, and then you eventually max it out to get um, their personalized stories for each card. Um, that comes with rewards, discs, coins, points, things like that. Um, so here we have up here, um, this one right here is gonna, it says main. This is what is going to be your main party. So right now my main party is, um, I believe, my A, my A team. Um, uh, this one is position. Um, so if you tap position, that just means that you can swap them around. Uh, swap you for you, let's say. Boom, they swapped. Um, and you can do that as long as this is highlighted. Um, so you just keep swapping, 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 doesn't matter. Swap around. Uh, so let's say I want all three of my Sakus to be next to each other and I want my two curls next to each other with, uh, Toya in the middle. So ta-da, there we go. And then you tap it again to stop. So, uh, swapping positions. Um, this one is leader. So if you tap this, you change the leader of your group. Now that also means it's going to be who uses their main ability when you're um, playing songs because each card has their own leader ability. Um, and then it's also going to be who shows up on your main screen. So now that I've swapped over to Saku, we'll go here to the home. 
and you'll see here on the right, I'm sorry, the left side, then now it is Saku who's showing up, and since this is my main team, and he's the leader, so now it shows him, he's the one who's talking, I can look at his previous, what he looked like before I idolized him, um, but we'll go back and we'll put it back to this, uh, Kuro, because I like Kuro, um, uh, this team right here, so, um, What was that again? Sorry. Okay. Um, usually I don't mess with this blue button. Um, it's, you know, it's just for main team again. Um, don't need to fiddle faddle with it. This is auto. Um, so auto means it'll auto form. So like I was saying, you separate by team. So we'll say this is going to be my wild. And then it shuffled things and decided it wanted to make Saku the leader, but whatever. Um, I want... Kuro, because I just like Kuro's ability, and I like the way he looks, and he's so pretty, and he's my favorite card right now. Um, so that's that. Um, again, you tap these little pink buttons to view each of your teams. And we'll go back. Next is change. Uh, change So this is where you would idolize a card if you had two of them. So I'll do an example um, idolizing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we can do Seiya. Um, so this is the say I just got from the King of I2 3 event. I've got three of them for my rewards for completing the event. Um, I already got a couple during the event as well. Um, so he's already idolized. So let's actually do one that I haven't idolized yet. Um, let's see here. I'll re-idolize him and then I'll just combine them again, I think, because I don't use any rares in my teams and that's it's fine. Um, actually, let's do... Hmm, hold on. Yeah, that's fine. You know what? That's okay. For an example. So here, I have my event Seiya. As you can see up in the top right here, it's showing his idolize because I've already done it before. So, um, and then you would just tap, and then it tells you, um, since I've already done it, it tells me immediately what its stats are going to be afterward. Not afterwards, sorry. What the stats of the two cards are that I'm combining, so that way I know that the green one is going into the red one. Um, so if, say, you want to combine something, and if one card is higher level than the other, you want to make sure that you keep your higher level one as the main card, not the one you're getting rid of. Um, but since they're both level one here, doesn't matter. So they would just they would combine. Um, and then we'll do the um, etoile. Now, after you've idol idolized something, um, actually, let's start really quick before idolizing. Let's go over the ranks. Um, so you have R, just for rare. This is an R. Um, then you have double R, which is an idolized rare. You have SR, um, which is right here. Uh, SR, super rare. Um, then when you combine two super rares and idolize that, you get bum, bada, bum, 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 a UR, which is an ultra rare. And then after that, it is LE or legendary rare. Um, and then once you combine two LEs, you get a GR, which is the highest ranking card you can get in this game, which is a god rare. Um, so, as you can see, I don't have too many GRs, but that's okay. I like the ones I do have. Um, I just got this one for the King of IG3 event. Hooray! Um, and then, once you've idolized something, you can do something called Etoile, which is boosting a card past its maximum um, stats to increase them. Um, you can only do it up to five times, so if you look at my top cards right here, I've already got some GRs I've, um, I, I've etoiled. So this one I've only etoiled once. This one I've etoiled all five times. Um, this one I've done all five times. This one I've done all five times as well, um, as well as this one. Um, so you want to try to get to etoiling them all five times eventually. That's an eventual goal. Just getting the GRs themselves though is, is great and then you want to level them up as well. So we'll go ahead and etoile my little Seiya that I got. So it's showing the base one at the top and then the one I'm adding to it at the bottom. Um, we'll do change and it'll etoile. Welcome. 
Bum bum bum. Et voila. Look at that. So good. So now I can see the stats of what he has right now. Profile. It's his basic profile. Uh, blood type, birthday, um, uh, voice actor, his height, things like that. Just, you know, information. Uh, and then we have the eye kids. So each of these tabs is something different. So these are your main iChu units. This, these are your, whoops, these are your eye kids right here. Um, I eventually get rid of them all, but these are the ones I'm trying to get their affection stories for. Um, they are all normal, starting off normal, lowest. Then when you uh, idolize them, they become high normals. Um, so you usually want to end up keeping them unless you have an attachment to them. Um, I don't really have any attachments to any of them. So let's see here. Um, yeah, so I've got a bunch of high normals. These are all ones I need to max out their affection for. The, these are for your managers. Again, I don't have any managers. And then these are all of your kumas. Um, these that you use to level up um, your skills, HP, uh, just base level, things like that um, for your units. I have a lot. Uh, I'm almost maxed out on them, so I need to use up some of my kumas. Um, Right here, this yellow button is for a twalling. If you have any bears that are meant to a twall, um, if you don't have the actual base card, um, I don't have any right now because I've used them all. Um, these are all ones that you can use. Um, sorry, these are all ones that are change bears. Um, sorry, um, you can change some bears as well. Um, I haven't changed any though. Next we have is this button. This is just a view all of the current units you own. So we're viewing all the units I own. So like here, we'll look at this one. This is the newest one I just got. It's the King of Aichu 3. It is Kuro Yakaku. He and Saku are my favorite characters in this game currently. His profile again, he's 25, uh, birthday is 4'4", 178 centimeters tall. Um, yeah. And so this is a good way to just view what units you have if you want to show them off or check stats and things like that. Whatever you need to. Um, this is right here, group. This is so you can view idols and units by group. So these are the nine main groups. We have Fire Phoenix. This one right here, Fire Phoenix. Twinkle Bell. Uh, I Heart B or just I B. Um, ARS, ours, um, this one, this one is the only one you may not um, be able to, you know, memorize immediately because it's not the only one, in, it's the only one not in English. But this is Tenjo Tenge. Um, so you can see that the ten symbol is used twice. Tenjo Tenge. Tenjo Tenge. Um, they are a very, like, traditional Japanese sort of style group. Uh, you have Lancelot. Re Berserk, uh, Pop and Star, and then Alchemist, who is the newest group. They were introduced later. Um, we'll start off by showing you everyone from each group. So you have Seiya Aido. Oh, that's the load. These are all of his cards. Um, at least these are the ones that I've gotten. Um, these are all the cards that do exist for him, though. I don't have them all. Um, but it's a good way to view just cards and units by character if you just only want to see that specific character. You can see this cute little Children's Day SI that I got. This one was the Bride's one. Um, that one was the Aquarium one. Anyway, um, so Seiya Aido, he's the leader. Um, Kanata Minato. Um, he is the youngest one, I believe. Um, he was a former iKids. Um, I'm not going to go too into depth of describing all these characters because if you really get into it, then you can do a little bit of research on your own. Um, these are just basic introductions. Um, he was a former iKid. He is now an idol, a part of Fire Phoenix. Um, Akira is the oldest member, the most kind of mature of the group. Um, and uh, he is technically their uh, deepest vocalist. Um, next we have Twinkle Bell. They are twins. Um, I will go over the managers another time because the managers are something brand new and I can't look at any of them right now because I don't own any. Um, but Rintaro Kizaki is, is their manager. Um, Twinkle Bell. 
this is a group of um, just two guys and they're twins, Satsuki and Mutsuki. Mutsu uh, Satsuki is a prankster, he really likes to like do jokes on people, things like that, he likes to mess with people. He's the play really playful one. Uh, Mitsuki is his twin brother. He is also playful like Satsuki, but not as much. He just kind of goes along with what his brother does. Um, he is known for being very sleepy, tired, always falling asleep and napping, things like that. Uh, and then their manager is Mashiro Kisaragi. Um, he's a very tech nerd who speaks in a lot of like internet speech with like, el like saying out loud like LOL, 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 and things like that. Uh, this is IB. These are all inter this is the international boy. I love we're the international boys group. Um, like we love international boys. Um, each one is from a different country. We have Noah. Um, he is from America, and he is uh, friends with Seiya because Seiya is also from America. He came to J to Japan to become an idol. Um, here's Noah. Uh, he's from America. He's childhood friends with Noah. Um, this one is Leon. Leon is from do, 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 the UK. You can kind of tell they're a little bit like obvious with the way that they're dressed because they have they like to have their flags with them, um, especially like in this in this card. Um, but he's from the the UK. Uh, then we have Li Chaoyang. Chaoyang is from China. I think that sounds a little obvious considering his name is Chinese. Um, where is he? There he is with this Chinese flag. Uh, next we have is Dabi. Dabi is from Russia. Um, each one plays a different instrument, so Noah's guitar and vocals. Um, Leon is, what was he? He's drum? No, oh, no, he's guitar. He's bass, I think, or him or Lucas. Um, Chao Young is keyboard. Um, Rabi is drums. Um, he is Russia and he is from drum. Sorry, he is from Russia and he plays drums. Um, and then we have finally Lucas, who is from France. Um, there is a cool little tidbit about him, at least in terms of the story, if you end up being really curious about it. Um, but if you want to know more, you just you might have to read about it. Um, but he's got a cool little history. Uh, and then um, Go Hayami is their um, manager. It Since Japan's not too like into the times with like LGBT stuff, Go is kind of like a joke, and I don't really like it. But I don't, I don't like how Japan treats those stereotypes. Technically, Go Hayami is supposed to be a, a transgender woman, um, but people still re refer to Go as a um, as a male. Um, they still call them a, a he and refer to him as male and things like that. Um, I tend to be neutral. I just I try to whenever I can refer to them as they, uh, just because I feel like that's more respectful. Um, anyway, but, uh, they're very good at sewing, and they're, and they love IB, and they love how handsome they all are. Um, now, this we have is ARS, um, ours. This is a group made up of artists. Um, they all have a different specialty in terms of art. I don't remember them all because they're not my favorite unit, um, but, uh, but they're very unique and interesting. They do have some fun songs. Torahiko. Kusakabe. He is an artist, um, painter mostly. I think he paints with acrylics and watercolors and just things like that. He's just he's a traditional painter. Um, is what he's really into. Uh, he is he is their leader um, of this group. And then we have Kyosuke Momoi. Kyosuke Momoi is a um, manga artist, um, and he's a currently publishing one. So he balances idol work and and deadlines and things like that um but he's apparently a very famous one inside the Aichu world um so good for him um anyway so he is a mangaka then we have Akio Tobi Tobikura um I believe he is a calligrapher if I remember correctly that is that is what he likes is calligraphy so that is his art form um then we have Shiki Amabe um Shiki Amabe Shiki Shiki what do you do, Shiki? I think. Oh, he's a uh, he does pottery, so you can see him here with a pot. Um, he so he works with clay pottery, and that's what he what he is specialized in. We have Hikaru. Um, I believe he does ice sculptures. I think? Question mark. Um, yes, he does ice sculptures. So he's got a he's got an ice carving pick in his hand here. Um, their little motif, if you've noticed, is they all dress kind of like princes. It's very cute. 
Um, and then Raku, what does Raku do? Raku, Raku, Raku. Raku, oh no, Raku does calligraphy. That's right, Raku does calligraphy. Well then what the heck does Akio do? Um, oh no, I don't remember. That's right, because he's got the calligraphy brush. What the heck does Akio do then? I can never remember what you do, because yours isn't very clear. It's a paint of some sort, I'm not sure. Um, then we have their manager, Aidu. Um, he is a very soft-spoken person who um, has trouble speaking up loudly and uses a megaphone to speak. Next we have is Tenjo Tenge. Um, they are a very traditional kind of style pop group. They like to do a lot of um, traditional dressing, traditional um, instruments. Um, you'll hear they sound they sound very Japanese, traditional Japanese. We have Tsubaki Rindo. He is the leader. Um, he's actually from a Yakuza family, um, but left the family to become a um, idol. Then we have Toya. Um, Toya is kind of like a, uh, he's like the mom of the group. He takes care of everyone, makes sure that they don't fight because in the group, um, Tatsumi and Aoi are always kind of button heads. They, they like to fight a lot. Um, same thing in IB with Lucas and Leon, they butt heads a lot as well. Um, so here we have, um, Tatsumi, very handsome, very handsome. Um, and then we have Aoi Kakitsubata. Kakitsubata. I think that's how you do it. Um, he is quite handsome as well. Um, I don't have very many cards for him, unfortunately. And then their manager is Atsushi Munakata. Um, there was a thing about him, I think, that was very specific. Oh, um, the manager, this one, Atsushi Munakata, has known the producer, you, technically, the main character that you play as, producer Chan, Pi Chan, um, has known her since she was a former idol, and I will get into that a little bit too as well. Next we have is Lancelot. Look at Lancelot, they're also handsome. Um, they're kind of like the mature group. They do a lot of um, mature style music. We have Ise Todoroki. There he is, Ise, so handsome. Um, the fun part about Lancelot is that all three of these boys went to high school with the producer. Um, they were all childhood friends. Um, so they've known they've all known each other the longest and they're one of the older units they're they're meant to be older um they're the adults um futami he's a he's a neat <laughs> which is funny not engaged well technically he is engaged in work and training because he's an idol but he is always at home by himself playing video games he has plushies and stuff he's very otaku nerdy kind of thing um, then we have Takamichi Sanzenin. Um, he is actually the um, heir to a um, like a rich family, like a corporate family of some sort or something. Uh, Junta Arayashi, Arayashi, Arayashiki. I always have a very hard time with his last name. Um, he is their manager. He is one of the older ones, and he's obsessed with sweets. <laughs> Which is very very cute. Um, Reapers Arc. This is an interesting little group. Um, I used to not like them very much, but now I actually adore them. Um, they are very spooky and goth, gothic. Um, they love doing Halloween style stuff. Um, songs about demons and blood and witches and vampires. We have Ava who is the leader, he is actually the oldest Aichu out of all of the Aichus in this entire game, and he does not look it. It's very strange, it's very weird. He is what, he is the stereotypical what is called in Japanese a chunibyo, which is he, like, he imagines he's in a different world, basically, like, like, I'm not of this world, I am something different. So he's like, I'm a 467 year old vampire, uh, fear me. In reality, I think he's 36. 36, 37, and late 30s. Anyway, um, he uh, is the leader, but he is the adopted, uh, we'll say with quotation marks, adopted father of uh, Mio Yamanobe because um, he found Mio when he was a teenager in high school as an infant and took him in because he couldn't leave Mio by himself. Ban is also sort of like his surrogate son, except he actually has a family. Um, ban was um, a son of a very rich family that he tutored um, in, throughout high school and college, and then he kind of fell into the fold with uh, Eva and Mio. 
Um, Christopher is their um, manager. He has always been obsessed with like, Japanese culture in Japan, so he, he speaks Japanese very, very fluently. Um, he's kind of like the opposite of them. He's very light aspected, which is a very kind of like interesting like dichotomy between the two. Um, then we have Puppin Star. Puppin Star used to originally only be Kokoro Hanabusa. She was by herself. Oh, and again, trans things. <laughs> They're all boys. Poppin' Star is all boys, but they dress as females. I like to think that they're trans women, but they say ex explicitly in the story that they're just cross-dressers. There's even a song where they do dress as boys and be their, their true selves or whatever. Whatever. I... They all refer to themselves in third person so that way they don't have to use gendered pronouns. I like to think they're all trans. Um, just because they insist on being treated as female anyway, so... But we have Kokoro. Uh, she is the leader. Um, I will refer to them with female pronouns, um, and she used to be the only member. And then um, later on, these two were added. Luna Kagurazaka. Um, she is um, the kind of cool, mature one that was added in. And then we have Momo Oikawa, Momosuke Oikawa, um, which is the really adorable, cutesy, small one who was um, added in as well to kind of balance out the group. Uh, their leader, their sorry, manager is Onimaru Takara, who I. I think there's his story is is that he used to cross dress as a child for like commercials and ads and stuff, but now he's very like you have to treat me like a boy. Um, don't treat me like a girl. I don't care. Don't say I'm cute. Um, very kind of insistent thing. Then we have the final group, which, uh, my favorite group actually, and is the newest one. They weren't a part of the original I Chew before the second series came out, like the second book. Um, in the main story. Um, so we have Kuro. Uh, th this group has a very interesting, kind of much deeper story to them than some of the other um, idol units. Kuro Yakaku is the leader of the group. He used to be an idol with the producer when they were younger. Um, they were a duo and they would um, do a lot of stuff together, do some stuff individually and things like that. Um, there is a whole story with them and the producer that I encourage you to read. I think it's very, um, very... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, like, uh, not driving. Um, engaging. I just, it's, it's really good. I very much enjoyed their story. Um, Kuro very much hates the producer, absolutely wants her to suffer and feel guilty for her past sins, which you will have to read about. Uh, Saku Uruha is a former nerd, neat, sort of, kind of like Futami, um, who was obsessed with the producer when she was an idol, watched all of her programs, listened to all of her music, everything, and he is the kind of yandere. Yandere, um, of all the idols. He is like, I love you so much. It's very creepy kind of, kind of way. Um, very, kind, it's very problematic, I would say, in a lot of ways, but that's supposed to be his charm, is that he's very much in love with you. Babur, um, it's the final, uh, unit. Um, he is, uh, the estranged and lost an unknown little brother to Ava, the oldest unit. Um, Ava's mother apparently had another son after Ava and she had ditched Ava. Um, and the and that son was Babur. Hooray, Babur! Um, so Babur became an idol specifically to find Ava so that way he could have a brother because he'd never had a very good or stable family before. Uh, he's very innocent. He refers to himself in third person. Um, a very interesting quirk ab about him in the story is that he only speaks in hiragana. He does not, none of his text whatsoever uses kanji, which is very like childlike, innocent sort of thing, um, meant to give the impression that he acts like he's younger than he is. He actually has the deepest voice out of everyone in that group. Very odd. Uh, UJ is their manager. Um, not much is really known about him other than he and Rintaro used to go to school together and he was a teacher at the France um, School of Iliador, which is the company you work for in this game. 
So that's that. Um, but that is the group and all of the characters. That is what you need to know about them. I seriously encourage you to read the story. It's so good. This is lesson right here at the very top. It says lesson. Lesson, lesson. So this is where you're going to train your idols. So I will show you how to do that. Um, let's go here with you. Um, do I have any kids? No, no, I sold them earlier. Okay, so we're going to train with a Kuma. So you can see at the very top is the idol I've chosen to train. Um, I don't want to use a very strong Kuma. Uh, the Kuma to purely increase level is going to be the one with the swords. Um, so this one right here. So you'll see at the very top right here that it is increasing and it tells you how much more experience you need to the next level, uh, where they will be. It's good to pay attention so that way you don't use too many materials. Um, so we can see right here that once I hit the sixth one, I hit max level. So there we go. So we'll train him. Excellent. Sometimes you can end up getting like a, a marvelous, amazing, excellent, and that just boosts up um, the amount of XP you get. It does a multiplier of like 1.5, 2, 2.5, I think, something like that. Um, but there we have it. So that's how you train. Um, and now my god rare Mutsuki from um, Valentine's Day, I think it was, is now level 100, which is the max level for a GR. Max level for an LE is 90, for a UR is 80, SR. Is it 70? 60 or 70? Um, so on and so forth. Um, this right here is selling, so if you want to sell stuff, so I'll just I'll show you an example by selling a bear really quick. Um, so if you want to sell something, so let's get rid of a, a bear I don't need. Whoops, oops, 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 I don't want that. Um, let's get rid of a couple of... Ooh, I want those bears, hold on. Um, Let's get rid of a couple. These ones are for skills, so let's get rid of a couple of these because I don't really need these right now. So we'll get rid of five. So you're allowed to sell a maximum of, I believe, 25, uh, 8, 16, no, 24, 24. So 8, 16, 24. Um, you at 24 at a time. So we're selling this, it tells you how many units you're selling at the bottom. Boom. I got five coins for selling five bears. You get more coins for selling, um, actual units and idols and things like that. This is your album. So right here, this is the album of every single card, every single unit that has ever been released in Aichu. Uh, there are many pages. Uh, <laughs> so you'll be going through that a long time if you do that. Um, this is for all the I kids. Um, I have nearly all of them, which is pretty nifty i would say i'm working real hard to get the last little bit down here um these are for all the managers that have ever been released these ones are all the kumas uh subete um these ones are um all the ones that you have um gotten the affections for with, with the little heart you can see in the corner um that you've affectioned um and then the very, very last little button here at the bottom is support. This is the um, unit that is going to show up when people are using you as a friend in um, your lives. Um, when you do a live show, you add a friend to help get um, bonus points, bonus um, skills, things like that, just to help bolster and, and make your team just a little bit stronger. And th this is going to be the character who shows when people use you. So for the longest time I had, who was it? I had this one for the longest time. Um, but right now I have the prison scout Saku because he is my very strongest um, unit available and I want my friends to be able to have a good unit in their team. So that's that. Um, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to know. But once once you have it down, once it's, you've got it memorized, you're going to be doing this like it's old hat. Um, and then finally we're going to do um, the last two tabs. This is the scout tab right here. This is where you're going to exchange crowns. Um, I've already exchanged all of my crowns, so I don't have anything right now. But these are all the different units you can pick to exchange. These are all LEs that you can either get or turn into GRs by idolizing. You can also get some old SRs. Um, I don't have anything I want right now, so... We're just gonna leave them, but these are all of the currently exchangeable ones. Um, every per 
periodically, I don't know the how often it is, but every so often they add new ones in here. So keep an eye out if you've got a lot of crowns. Um, these are this is the like always available, always there, um, 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. Uh, these are the ones that are always available to you. This occasionally changes, um, but this is what you can use your premium tickets for. Um, you get SRs and LEs. Um, use five tickets um, to get one draw. It's pretty darn. It's a pretty darn difficult way to get SRs and LEs, but if you save them up, it's 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 not bad. Um, this is what you use badges for. Badges you get by selling um, SRs and above. Um, if you have duplicates or ones you don't want or anything like that. Um, I don't have many because I usually keep most of my SRs and above. Um, unless I really have a duplicate that I don't need or I have a UR that's already at 12 up to plus 5. Um, and then this is your normal scout uh, that you use with friend points. Um, you get a free daily pull every single day, so we'll just do that one right now. And this is what a scout looks like. It's a little stage with a cheering fan and crowd. You can see which pull I'm doing in the back, which gotcha it is. They show it up on the big giant screen. It's silver, so that means it's not just an, uh, it's gonna be an R or above. Or sorry, it's gonna be an R. Silver is always R. And it was a Kuma, so it's a double R. Um, which is wonderful. Um, so a Kuma for training. Um, that is also how you get I kids, and you can occasionally get regular R's out of them as well. They're rarer, um, but you can get regular R's for regular idle units. Right here, this is the, um, I don't know the direct translation for that word up there, but this is the, the main, um, scouts that we, that they have available. These change, um, pretty frequently. Uh, right now this is the birthday scout for Chao Yang and Akio, um, and, uh, because they have a birthday scout every month for all the people, all the characters who have a birthday in that month. I don't care much for Akio or Chao Ying, so I haven't done the scout. Uh, this one right now is the, um, pickup, pickup scout to get stuff from previous events if you haven't gotten them before. Um, I don't, I, I don't want to use my discs on them right now. Um, this one right here is the event one. There is no event going on right now, so there's no event pull. <laughs> And then this is Osusume. This is the, like, very rare one day only or, like, li very limited scout. Um, this one is for Tenjo Tenge for the Anniversary Memorial Scout. Um, I don't care for it, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, and then we'll go over all the stuff in the menu because this is the uh, settings, options, menu sort of thing. It's a lot of stuff. I hardly ever touch most of it. You probably won't either. This right here is the shop. So it's that shop I showed you earlier. This right here is your profile. This tells you your ID, what your name is, um, when you joined, your birthday. Um, this right here is uh, my summary that I've written in specifically for myself that people see when they look me up. So um, it just says, let's be friends, and then English and Japanese is okay. Um, you can see I've cleared 85 easy songs, 84 normal, 136 hard, 69 experts, and I have done no nightmares. Um, Come on. Profile name. So this is if you want to change your profile name. I don't want to change my profile name. And then this is if you want to change your character's name. I don't want to change my character's name. I'm fine with them being the way they are. Um, what are you again? Oh, this is to check your inventory. Here we go. So it's a briefcase. Check your inventory. You can also do this simply by tapping your rank at the top. I usually just do that since it's easier. Um, this is if you want to see your total discs, how many are free, how many you've purchased, and your total. So you can see at the very top are my free ones, 39 purchased, at the uh, in the middle is 49, and my total at the bottom, which is 88 um, crowns. Here we go. So if you want to go and see rankings, um, rankings in terms of who has the high score for the week, I believe. Um, as you can see, my ranking is 43,847. Oh boy. Um, this is options right here. Options is something you probably will be fiddling with for a little bit, and then once you figure out exactly like your setup, then you probably won't touch it much. Um, over here, 
This is for the transfer code. Uh, this is just sound music um, if you want to turn it up or down. Um, right here, uh, let's see here. Yes, so it's just volume. So here, this is your, this is, these are your, whoops, 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 live settings. These are your live settings. So, um, cutting, which is like if a person uses their ability, it cuts in the picture of the card. I selected nashi because I don't want them to cut in. It's very distracting. Um, um, monitor, um, they show up on the monitor or um, full or full, um, they, the cut-ins come in completely because um, there's a monitor in the back when you do a live. Uh, I don't remember what this one does, but I boo. I don't remember what this one does. I will have to look that up. Uh, this is for your frames per second. If you have a phone that has trouble running this a bit and you want to help kind of reduce the load on it, selecting 30 FPS would be good to max it out at 30 FPS. I have it at 60 because I don't mind. Um, this right here is dance, um, dance animation for the chibis in the background. I have it on because I like watching my little guys dance. Um, event, um, event effects um so when you're doing a live effects in the background will happen and things like that i have it turned off to help reduce the load if you have everything turned on it can really bog down the game and make it super slow and lag uh, i have a lot of it turned off to help with just just one distractions and two just buffering um cut in voice i have that off because i don't want to hear the cut in voice for abilities um skill cut ins for when you're using skills i have that turned off because um, skills activate constantly all the time and if I want to see what's being used I can just look at the bottom and I'll show you that um, rhythm um, rhythm icon uh, I have that turned on so I can see um, uh, see how well I'm doing when I play and then this is your configuration for your taps you will do that in the beginning when you first configure your game um, right here. And then this is more for the configuration of your taps. Um, I have mine set exactly the way I want it to, so I'm not going to fiddle with it. Um, mine is at negative, uh, 0 0.043 because I have a little bit of a, I have a little bit of a delay just because uh, my reactions are very slow. And then in terms of story, you can change the speed of text. Um, you can change whether you can see the producer or not when you're reading the story. I like seeing her because she's adorable, she's wonderful, and I don't self-project. Um, uh, this is just showing you how fast the text would go if you were reading. Um, this one is just to have it instantly pop up all the time. I like to have it go in and have it fast, I don't care. So I'll go back. Um, this you're probably never going to use. Um, this is just for your backgrounds for um, your main menu, uh, what you want to show um, on the main menu uh, uh, when you're looking at the home. Um, yeah, I, I, I never change it. I never change mine. Um, if you, that's your thing, absolutely go for it, but I don't want to spend the discs on it. I really don't. Um, Let's see here. This is songs. If you just want to listen to the songs, um, this right here is support chat or but voice. Oh, voice download. So if you want to download voice clips from the characters to be able to listen to them, the ones that you have downloaded or not. Um, this is help. Um, this is user support. Um, that takes you to the website. Whoops, I didn't want that. Um, message, um, message stuff. A lot of this stuff at the bottom you're not going to end up messing with at all. Um, so just don't mind it too much. Um, but other than that, there you go. Uh, that is the basic, just, wow, it took an hour to explain all that. Uh, that is the basics of the game. Now we'll go in and before I wrap this up, we'll, um, uh, we'll go in and just, 
I'll show you a live um, after because after this what we're gonna do is we're going to grind so good hour explaining everything and then maybe an hour of just playing songs um, you have easy normal and hard um, if you completely triple S a song right here um, and you get all of the rewards you get a clear with the little crown at the top um, you can view here what your rewards are going to be. You can see it's instead of number of times played like Love Live and things like that, it's just high score, max combo, and total rank. Um, and you can see what your scores are at the top and the difficulty of it based on the notes. Um, this is going to be the first song that you ever get, so just keep in mind of that one. You can view rankings of global players to see what the global high scores are. I don't care usually. Maniac is a special mode that you unlock when you triple S something. Um, the way it works is that you can make the notes uh, fly up uh, backwards. Um, they'll play the song backwards. Um, the notes will come in randomly. It'll be a blind one where you won't be able to see the notes and you have to have it just memorized. There's all kinds of all kinds of modes. I haven't fiddled too much with it yet, but you may end up having fun messing with it. Right here is your dailies. These are the dailies. You have easy, normal, hard ones. They change periodically based on the events, based on the month, and based on the day. Um, your experts here are going to change very much more frequently than the easy, normal, and hard songs. The experts come in and change all the time. So if you want to look here, you can see some of my scores at the bottom. I've only, just within the last couple months, started doing a ton of expert stuff, so I've still got a lot to catch up on. Uh, but you can see the rewards here. So you get some coins, friend points, candy, premium ticket, things like that. So we're working on them. Nightmares are the most difficult songs in the game. Um, now, these you get only if you triple S an expert, which I haven't done with any of these songs yet, so I don't have it available. Um, and you can see who sings the song at the bottom, um, how much LP it costs to do this specific song, what type it is. Um, for the dailies, how long you have to play it. So this still has six days left um, to be here in the experts. Um, you know, things like that. Um, but, oh, whoops, I didn't want that. I want a daily. I wanted to go back to the normals. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, that was event. Ha, huh, that was not lives. I'm so used to tapping event from going and doing the event the last, like, week. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a basic song. Um, we're gonna do this song on easy just to show you the basic notes, and then I'm gonna do everything else in hard while we grind some affection. Um, and you can see that I've gotten triple crowns on every single song. So here, when you select a song and you wanna go for it, you can see here, just in case to double check what difficulty you're on, the, the type, so you can decide what you wanna pick. Um, I'm gonna pick... I'm going to pick a friend I've already used for today so I don't get more friend points. Um, pick your team. Um, again, you can view difficulty type, how much LP it's going to use, and difficulty again here. Um, I'm going to use, this is a red, this is a wild, so I'm going to use this to try and gain some affection. And then we'll, we'll explain the notes. The music is so good in this game, I love it different backgrounds. I'll show you how you can change backgrounds. Um, but each live has different backgrounds. You can see I have my live effects active with the little green lights everywhere. If you glance at the top, you can see uh, my points, how close I am to increasing my rank in the song from C to B to A to S. Um, those are the four rankings. If you get anything below a C, it will rank as a D. Um, so I have mine configured to my tap style and that works for me. So I usually get crates and perfects almost always. Um, and that works for me, but for you, you know, you, you gotta figure out the settings that work best for you. And you can see my combo in the middle. You'll see a little number that pops up, and that's how many points you earn per tap. So 477, 477. Um, 
You can see my little chibis in the back are dancing just because I like watching them dance. It's super cute. Uh, the green bar below the ranking is my stamina. So if I skip a note, oh no, my, oh no, my stamina, my stamina, my stamina. Uh, you only have so much stamina and it is determined by the card and how much HP it has. You can increase HP with specific kumas, which is good. Um, and then if you look at the bottom, you can see which effects from skills are being activated. So let's see if one more pops up, because there was one just a second ago. It was a uh, arrow pointing up, which is um, score up. No, I don't think another one will activate before the end of the song. But any um, anything at the bottom that shows up for me, um, since I have it turned off um, for my cut-ins, is what ability is being used currently. And then it says, live clear, ta-da, we cleared alive. Congrats to us! And here we go, we see our score. So we see that I had 100 perfects, 13 grades, and oh no, 4 misses! How awful! Um, I choose a little forgiving that if you mess up within the first, I think, 10 or 15 notes of a song, um, at the very beginning or at the very end, it'll still give you the the S ranking, um, even though it's not a technically full combo. Just because it's like, oh, you were you were trying to get your bearings, or like you you made it through the, almost the entire song before uh, messing up. That seems unfair to take it from you. So I choose very nice about stuff like that, which I which I like a lot. Cause usually if I'm having trouble getting like into the tempo or beat you know having that that little window of safety is nice for me um you earn some eye kids at the end of a song so i got three right here you're in coins and here's all the affection i've earned so i got nine for the leader and five for everyone else And there you have it. So we'll go and do a hard really quick, um, and I'll show you, you know, some different notes and how much faster it can really get. Um, I won't do an expert today, just because the experts have been kind of bugging down my phone a little bit. Um, but here we can see that this is Fire Phoenix. Um, we just did I'm a Hero, so let's move on to this Twinkle Bell song. This is a uh, mechanical. Um, Oh, mi Miracle. Miracle. Oh, Miracle Twinkle. There we go. I was having a hard time with that for some reason. Miracle Twinkle is the name of the song. You want to use a blue unit just because they get more affection. <laughs> This is I'm using very low level units just for this because I'm just trying to gain affection. In this hard song, I'm not going to get as many points, so. As you can see, the doubles have the little arrows so that way you see that it's meant to be tapped at the same time. Um, we've got some notes that are played in succession. You'll have to kind of master, you know, the timing based on how fast you have the notes falling down. Um, of how fast you need to tap to get those doubles, like here, here, here. Um, very important note, unlike uh, Utano Prince Sama, um, or I think there's one other, um, rhythm game that's forgiving about the hold notes um, but for Aichu it is very very important that you let go of hold notes at the proper time otherwise it will consider it a miss or bad um, and mess up your streaming combo you can't hold it down and just leave your finger held down for safety um, like in uh, Utana Prinsama I do that in Utana Prinsama because I'm lazy and then I come back to Aichu and then I start messing up my combos and I'm like no oh my god um, so it's very important you let go at the right time if you let's see, let's see the next hold I'll show you if you hold it down too long I'll show you what happens oh no see it counts as a miss so that's what ends up happening so then it ruins your cam your combo so very important that you release at the right time when the circle is over the little 
There we go, like that. Um, same thing will happen if you like it too soon. Um, it'll deduct and either give you a miss or bad, or sometimes if it's like just enough in there, it'll give you a good, but it's good to, good to be careful. <gasps> it's over. <laughs> Thank you, Popper. <laughs> Beautiful. And we see those three misses that I did on purpose. There we go. Uh, if you get higher rankings, um, your idol, the little Aichu characters that you get are higher level. So the higher ranking, the higher the level they are that you collect. Which is good if you want to use them for like fodder for leveling, just because that means more experience, but usually that doesn't matter too much to me. So now we can see the difference um, in doing this hard song that I got 26 affection points for my leader and 20 for everyone else. Um, important to note that um, it does its scaling. So not every single character gets all 20, it divides it into the person that's first, so my Leon, uh, he gets the most, then Eva gets the second most, uh, Satsuki gets third, Runa fourth, and then Aoi gets the least. Um, so it's good to make sure that if you're grinding affection, um, your teams are set up so that way once you've gotten your stuff, you, um, you shuffle them around so that way it doesn't take too long to grind the other ones. <laughs> But that should be it! You know, look at that! Got everything explained? An hour and ten minutes or so? No, oh, about an hour, because I, I was prepping the, the stream for a while. But, if I haven't deterred you, and you want to stick around and listen to some of the music, I by all means encourage you to. Um, if you're just skipping ahead, um, I'd say, and you're here to skip the tutorial, then welcome! Uh, now's a good time to join. Um, you're just kind of scanning through. Uh, just finished the tutorial, explaining everything, the basics 101. Uh, got my beautiful Kuro here, love him. Um, and we're gonna play through all the songs and just grind some affection stories. So here we go. Hi, B. Ooh, whoops. What time is it? 2.30. Got about 20 minutes left before I gotta sign off. Plans today, you know, like a hardworking adult. Really needed to get rid of so many of these double R's. I'm taking up so much of my inventory space, and I've got a ton of high normal um eye kids to get rid of too. In this part, I won't talk too much, just so that way you guys can enjoy the music if you haven't heard it before. Um, songs in this game, I think, are very high quality compared to some of the other rhythm games I play. Um, it doesn't focus on the crazy cool techniques of tapping like some apps like Bang Dream and Love Live. Um, and I think it helps make the music just that much better quality since they focus more on that.
Hurrah, full combo, look at that. Um, that song was by IB, who is the um, little international group. This guy right here on the very end um, with the blue guitar is part of that group. And it's Leon. Adorable. And as I'm playing these songs in order, these are the order, this is the order of the songs you will unlock as you level up. So, if you end up wanting to play this game, then uh, absolutely, you know, let some of these songs be incentive because they are great. And it, this game is just so much fun. So much fun. Look at that. Next song is, um, I don't remember. I don't remember how to read that, just because I'm awful at kanji. Um, this is ARS, it's the artist group. Uh, this is their first song that they do. Some of the first and earlier songs I feel like are very... <laughs> You know, basic, kind of like, you know, the normal introductory songs you'd hear from like a pop group of any kind or something like that, but a lot of the songs start getting amazingly great as you continue on through, and you will get to hear some of them today, so very excited to show those off. Well, I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. <laughs> I looked up at my screen to check something because I got a notification and boy was that my undoing. I missed another note back there. Oh well, that's all right. I was just checking stuff, you know. You'll notice today I had my web uh, webcam off just because I didn't want it to get in the way too much of what you guys were seeing when I was doing the um, tutorial, and you didn't need to see my hands while I was doing a tutorial. You know, who cares? <laughs> Oh, yep, I know. So that was a warning that my, uh, uh, friend points were full, and I'm like, I know, I know. I'm gonna sell some of my units really quick, just so that way, um, can clear that out. There we are. Get out of here, kiddos. Hit the road. There we are. Next song, the first Poppin' Star song, when uh, Kokoro was still by herself. Um, so that's important to note. So this is just Kokoro by herself. Um, when she get, when she has Runa and Momo join her, I will point that out. So I will note that there are um, six permanent main 60, sorry, 60 permanent main story songs that always show up in your main story listing. Um, there are, um, I mentioned at the beginning, a couple dozen um, other songs that have been made for this game that are only available limitedly during specific events, certain times of the year. Um, 
things like that, uh, specific days. Um, there have been a lot of songs made by just individual uh, Aichu and individual um, unit members. Um, so if you want to find some of those, check them out on YouTube. They have some great single songs too, like um, Eva's song, um, Futami's song is very good too. Um, and just, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, they tend to make songs a lot for like anniversaries um, and things like that. Um, their Aichu Awards that they have every year. Um, sometimes they'll have um, holiday songs, Christmas, things like that. Um, not as often. But uh, the songs that are in the game are really just the tip of the iceberg. So if you want to hear some of the other limited songs that aren't always in the game, definitely try looking them up on YouTube. Look how cute they are dancing. It is possible to get higher than just a full combo. You can get a perfect full combo, which is getting nothing but permanent uh, perfects in a song. I I do not have the patience for that. I'm perfectly fine with just getting a normal full combo with some greats in there. If you get too many greats um, that are proportionate to the song, um, you will only get an A. So make sure you are trying to hit as many perfects as you can. But I usually always hit enough on an I don't I'm not that uptight. <laughs> hmm, there we go. Some of the older songs will give less affection than a lot of the newer songs. That's because a lot of the newer songs tend to have just a bit higher difficulty than some of the original older songs. Here's our second Fire Fenix song. I really like this one. It's very uh very passionate. I like it a lot. Some songs in this game are written specifically um, for specific things that are happening in the main story, which um, I can explain um, to you when we get to them, if I remember them. I don't remember every single one off the top of my head, um, but I do adore that they do that and make the songs like kind of work with the story.
That was one of the things about Aichu I didn't expect to end up loving so much, and that is the story. The main story is fantastic. It's sweet, it's whimsical, it's fun, and just... And it gets you invested in these characters. I feel like that's something that I haven't been able to do with a lot of other idol games, is really get invested in the characters uh, the way I, get, I got invested in them in Aichu. Especially even reading the main stories. Like, the main stories in Bang Dream, they're cute, you know, they, they explain like their origins and things like that, but they never got me too, too really invested, uh, even in Love Live too. Um, this one really just made me fall in love with all of these characters. <laughs> and look at that, we got one heart of affection with Babur. So now it's telling me that Babur's um, affection story has updated. Uh, we won't go and read that until we get all three though. Actually, let's go ahead and just so I can show you how to get there again. Uh, stories, so story. Um, affection stories. Scroll down to the bottom to find better. They're all color coded by group. Also, um, you can see the poppet stars separated because they were added um, later. So Kokoro is up here, and then separated from Runa and Momo, who are down here, um, since they were added again later. Um, and here's Babber. Hello. Uh, this is asking if you want to download the uh, special voice lines that come with it, and I'm going to say yes, because I want to be able to listen to them. Now, I'm not too excellent at kanji. Um, usually if I'm doing any kind of translation of anything for myself or others, it takes me a really long time because I have to I have to look through my um, jisho, my, my dictionary. Um, for Babur though, uh, his tends to be pretty easy since he speaks in nothing but hiragana because I can read Japanese like a five-year-old. Um, <laughs> but um, we'll do a We'll do a whole different thing for days that we wanna, that I wanna do translation. For today, this is just to show you uh, how affection stories look and how, you know, everything works. Uh, again, in the settings, you can get rid of the producer if you don't wanna see her. Um, but I love seeing her, she's adorable, so you look so sweet. Um, and it's totally, totally what I used to look like when I was younger before I became what I am today. Um, reminds me much of myself. Very cute, very cute. <laughs> I think one of the other things I really adore is that every group um, is drawn by a different art artist. <laughs> so they've managed to hire a bunch of different artists and um, gotten all their work into this game and it's very cool. I like seeing a lot of the different art styles, since I too am an artist. So there's coins and friend points. Hooray. There you go. So that's that's what an affection story looks like. And let's move on. Uh, this one is my favorite Twinkle Bell song. Kiss and kiss, castle make a bad game. Now take a fall in 
This song reminds me very much of the kind of, um, it's a very techno beat song, but it also has kind of like a mysterious kind of spooky feel to it that kind of reminds me a lot of Reaperzerk. Uh, and I really like Reaperzerk's aesthetic just because they make it work so well. Um, and I kind of like the spooky feel of the song of like, um, dark mysterious seduction kind of thing. And uh, I really like that about this song. It's very different from um, Twinkle Bell's usual aesthetic, which is very techno, uh, a beat pop. Um, in terms of the main story, you can definitely tell that there's a difference in um, musical styles once the managers were added into it because um, they kind of push the groups to try some different stuff that I think really works for them, where it's still their style, but it's like a bit of an evolved kind of form of it, and it works really well. I think we'll do maybe one more song and then call it here, because that's, that's an hour and a half, and uh, I've got some things to do. Gotta go visit my uh, father-in-law deliver some uh, homemade goods, some homemade bread, ice cream, and pasta, other whatnots. Oh, I was so close to the first heart. Owie, why would you do this to me? Owie, why? <laughs> We'll end on Dear My Precious Friend from IB. Oops, that's not my one. There we go. Dear My Precious Friends. Thank you, my precious, precious viewers today. Precious friends, precious people. Just thanks for, you know, willing to experience Aichu. Uh, thanks for sticking around just to listen to me ramble. Thanks for. Thanks for being you. Thanks for being here with me. Really appreciate it. It was a kind of spur of the moment decision to start streaming um, my mobile games, but you know what? I think this really works for me because these are some of my favorite games that I play every single day and um, I love talking about them and there's always new content, there's always new stuff to do and uh, it just makes me so happy. And being able to share these games that make me happy with other people, I can't think of anything better in the world. I apologize for the lag. As I stream longer, it starts to kind of degrade a little bit more. think of a better day. Got to sleep in, got to stream and play some iChu and share what makes it makes me happy about it and uh, you know, hopefully got others to maybe give this game a try. I know it's Japanese and I know it's, you know, hard and difficult to kind of navigate, but you know what? Give it a shot. There's some wonderful, amazing people out there working on translating this game so that way you can enjoy it just as much as Japanese folk do and Boy, do they do heaven's work. I appreciate them. Everyone at the Aichi Wikia who's 
tirelessly always translating affection stories, main stories, anything that you can think of in this game. So thank you to all of them, and thank you, thank you for watching this and hanging out with me. I'm, uh, I'm super happy. Apparently there's something up with iOS 12. Maybe that's why this game's been giving me issues. <laughs> anyway. Alrighty. Well, thank you all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up for the, uh, for the day. And we'll, uh, we'll say thanks again. That's, I can't say it enough. I can't say it more, I can't say it more or emphasize it enough to really say just how appreciative I am of you guys being here and watching this and hanging out with me. So, thanks again. Um, have an awesome day. Alright. See you guys around. See you in the future. Hope you're, you join me again. <laughs> Bye.